Welcome back. So this time around, we'll be talking about the shoulder complex and particularly the glenohumeral joint. Now, the glenohumeral joint is responsible for so many different functional movements because it is a multi-axial synovial ball and socket joint. As you all may have known, those are just a lot of fancy terms for doing a lot of different anatomical movements. This includes flexion and extension, abduction, adduction, circumduction, and rotation, which leads to the other part of this project, which is displaying the functional movement and it is grabbing items from a cabinet. Oh boy, here we go. Yep. Anyways, for this joint, we'll be focusing on two sets of movements, which are flexion and extension, and internal and external rotation. As you can see here, when he lifts his arm up to grab the stuffed banana and take it out of the cabinet, he uses primarily the anterior portion of his deltoid as well as the biceps brachii, coracobrachialis, and the clavicular portion of the pectoralis major for flexion and extension. According to this one study from University of Lyon, the supraspinatus can also be assumed to contribute to this joint stability in order to overcome the pulling effect of the deltoids, in case it might accidentally pull the humeral head out of the glenoid fossa. As for internal and external rotation, also known as medial and lateral rotation, you can see that it's pretty subtle when he's setting down the items on the counter and then bringing it back before grabbing the next item. The muscles that are involved with this movement are mostly the subscapularis and infraspinatus, but there's also the latissimus dorsi, the teres major and minor, the pectoralis minor, the pectoralis major if it's also during adduction, and the trapezius for mostly external rotation and to stabilize the scapula. According to a couple studies regarding spinal cord injuries and shoulder instability, the rhomboid muscles are also involved in external rotation of the glenohumeral joint because it produces downward rotation of the scapula as that rotation movement is happening. So the innervations involved with these muscles reside at the brachial plexus. Just like right here, sorry at your neck, going down all the way like that. For flexion and external rotation, they're primarily using the nerves at C5 and C6, whereas segmental nerves are being used for extension. In internal rotation, well yeah, they use all the segments of the brachial plexus. Alright, so that is all I have for you today. If there's anything that I miss, or if you just have feedback in general, that would be greatly appreciated. I really enjoyed putting these two past projects together, and I really hope you enjoyed watching them. So, until then, bye! So here we are behind the scenes of, I guess I'll call this cabinet. We have the star and my best friend, Clarice. <laughs> <laughs>